Hi everyone. How are you today? I hope you are always healthy. Welcome back to my channel. Like always, today I'm going to discuss some topic that will make you wonder about the advanced technology of the past, and more. I got this on various sources. Please check the description to know more, there are many interesting topics there, and not all of them can be covered here. I know that my video quality is far from good, but I hope the content is understandable. Some might say that I'm being repetitive by discussing this. But that's the whole point. This is proof that a small occult elite of the history to fit their narrative. Anyway, I also have a Telegram channel. There, I will share various information that I cannot share here. Don't forget to subscribe to my backup YouTube channel, the link is also in the description box below. So, without further ado, fasten your pants and let's get started. Giants in Ancient Egypt 27 giant sarcophagi, 2 meters wide and 4 meters long, are located deep underground in tunnels under the Pyramid of Djoser. The walls of the granite sarcophagi are perfectly fitted and polished inside and out. They are made at the highest level, which is impossible to repeat, even in modern conditions. One more question arises at the expense of transportation of 100-ton sarcophagi, after all, in narrow aisles of a pyramid, the sufficient quantity of slaves could not be placed that to drag them there. Pyramids in Bosnia Investigator Semer Osmanagic began excavations near the town of Vizoko in 2005. Three mountains turned out to be the oldest pyramids in Europe. The age of the structures exceeds 12,000 years. The pyramids, built by Atlanteans or Hyperboreans, are dedicated to the moon, the sun and the dragon. Mountains are composed of concrete blocks, with paths paved with paving stones. The pyramids are connected by underground passages, in which rune inscriptions and stone spheres have been found. The excavations have caused a scandal in the scientific world of Europe. Allocated public funds were withdrawn. The discoverers of the Bosnian pyramids were declared frauds. Only geologists and archaeologists from Russia recognized the artificial origin of the constructions and returned the excavations to their scientific status. Before I continue the video, please give a like if you've learned something. And, don't forget to subscribe, and also, click the notification bell too, so you won't miss any update. And, watch to the end, to avoid misunderstanding. Thank you. Michael Jackson tried to warn us. Michael Jackson tried to warn us for years. He used his music to reach us like many artists do, and also spoke out freely which led to his eventual extremely suspicious death. Some people say he's still alive, saying he's a guy called Dave. My honest opinion is that his message is much more important than the possibility that he may have faked his death. Telling people he faked his death kind of puts the flames out on the torch used to shine some light in this world. I do understand why people share the far out conspiracy, because I used to share the same stuff. It's using shock and awe on people and is not required on many levels. I feel like I'm nagging, but I'm just trying to be clear. If for argument's sake he was alive and still hiding away, the last thing he'd want, or need, is people, pointing at him, saying, there he is. We have seen how the entire world got taken in by a fraud couple of years back. What is the reason people could not reason enough to detect it? The answer probably lies in a concept called cognitive bias, which prevents correct judgment. Cognitive bias happens when people process and interpret information in an erroneous fashion. We present to you a short rundown of different types of cognitive bias. These are taken from the book, entitled, Cognitive Illusions, edited by Rediger F. Pohl. 1. Confirmation Bias When you base your judgment on memory, not logic, 
2. Illusory Correlation Bias When you base your judgment on your expectations rather than evidence. 3. Belief Bias If an argument agrees with our belief, we tend to accept it as truth, even when it is logically untenable. 4. Anchoring Bias If an assertion comes from an influential person, people accept it automatically. This is very powerful. Availability Bias is when the judgment is influenced by available information. People do not look for more evidence and base their judgment only on what is in front. If you remember, all the mainstream social media suppressed information contrary to the official narrative, narrowing the available info for the public. Validity Bias The power of repetition. This has an almost automatic effect on the judgment process. You would remember how all the govs and the media unleashed a synchronized effort in creating this validity bias. Exposure Bias When one is exposed to a stimulus repeatedly, one develops an affinity for this stimulus and considers to be absolutely true. This exposure can be through words, photos, diagrams, memes, auditory, gustatory, or tactile stimulus. The exposure bias can have an inverse relation too, with overexposure when boredom sets in. There are a few positive biases too. Overconfidence bias. Although it can be counterproductive if you take on more than you are capable of, this bias can also lead to increased motivation to accomplish apparently unreachable goals. Pollyanna principle. This is a positive bias. It is to do with an over-optimistic view of life, to look at life through rose-tinted glasses, so to say. Now back to some distortions created by cognitive biases. Moses Illusion. This is an inability to detect slight changes in a known sentence or quotation. Labeling Bias. When a specific label is affixed to a particular event, subsequent judgments get colored by that labeling. Flashbulb Memories Effect. Certain memories embed in the mind if they have emotional and subjective content. As you might realize, most of these cognitive biases can be and is used by the folks who behave like parasites in our world. My dear friends, you all know what we are up against, this is very purposeful, and they've done it, because they are trying to give you hints, they are trying to normalize, and show you, and tell you what they do. They are doing this because of the principle of karmic retribution. Satanists believe if they tell you what they are doing, if they make their intentions clear, and you still adhere to them, that they are no longer responsible for the negative karmic consequences. It's very simple to explain, if I have a stall of poison apples, and the sign says apples, and you buy one, I have poisoned you. But if I have a stall of poison apples, and a sign where it says poison apples, and you buy one, now you have committed a suicide. I have not poisoned you. If you know what I am selling, and you still comply and adhere, you are basically saying all the consequences are erased. That's how karmic retribution works. From their point of view, they will avoid karmic punishment. What do you think about this video? Please like and share this video if you like it, so that more people are aware of what is happening in this world. Before I end this video, let's say thank you to everyone who took the time and energy to research this, they have done a lot for us all. Please subscribe to watch the next upcoming videos. Thank you for watching the video until the end, I hope this information is useful for all of us. See you in the next video.